Good day, my uh, my YouTube friends. I'm Busker James, and I'm at my home. This is my vehicle. It's a 2021 Kia Soul. It's insured by, I don't know how you say this word, Desjardins Insurance. And this is my home, 258 Whitman Place. So, a couple of days ago, it would have been the 22nd of November. I came home from downtown and I brought my scooter in here into my yard. And this is where I park the mobility, one of the mobility scooters that I own is in the shed and so I parked it in there. And while I was riding it in there, I um I smelled a bit of smoke, but I didn't pay any attention to it. So there's the scooter. I bought this scooter this summer from uh, from uh, a company called Sydney Scooters. I couldn't provide you with a receipt because I don't know what I did with it. I don't keep receipts for stuff. Now, I, the reason I'm doing this video is because a few hours later, this is the way to my backyard and it's reasonably clean and, and so it was the yard. Everything that I had was kind of stored in a portable shed and in another shed back here. And, uh, here it is now. I looked out this window right here because I could hear something like uh, a whistle type noise and I ran to the back window here and all I could see in behind the shed was flames shooting probably 30 to 40 feet in the air, fire. So I grabbed my cats, I told my wife, get the cats, get out and uh, this, I got my wife and my cats into the yard and um, this whole area was on fire and I had a portable shed there, it's nothing left of it, there's what's basically left of it now and this this metal right here, this it's part of the part of it and it was a, uh, all the stuff that's here burnt, the Shri Mobility scooters here and uh, this saw that I bought off my son. And also this wagon that I bought. And it doesn't matter where I bought them from. They belong to me. This is, this is part of another, part of the three scooters that were in that shed. Now, all of this was in that shed. There's more. And, uh, you know, um, if I own 20 mobility scooters or I own one, it makes no difference to anybody. They're mine, they're mine, and that's all they need to know. I don't need to prove to anybody where I got them. Here's some more stuff from the fire. The sky, the sky was lit up with flames and outside the yard was uh, running. So we've got it all cleaned up here now. This is what it looks like. And uh, when the landlord came the next day, which was yesterday, he um, spoke with the neighbor because the fire did not start in my yard. It started in the yard in behind here. And uh, there's pictures of it on one of my other videos, but what a mess, you know? And uh, the fire started next door, which is, uh, I can't see over there, but because I blocked it all off, but the neighbor was supposed to um, secure this property because there's been homeless people going into his yard. They can't get into mine because it's locked up tighter than hell. The fire, the fire department couldn't even get in here until I let them in. And, uh, but anyways, I'm having issues with the, uh, with the insurance company because they want to know things that's none of their business. Why do I have three mobility scooters? Why do I have two? It is totally none of their business. I am, um, they put me onto an insurance agent that's down in, uh, in Ontario. She knows nothing about me. They collect my money every month. I pay my, pay for my insurance. This wagon, I've had this wagon for the summer. I. Uh, I used it to move things around because a little bit easier with the uh, with a wagon than it is to pick for me to pick them up. 
Hey, but look at the mess of it. I bought those four wheels from Princess Auto about uh, six months ago and put them on here because the ones that were on there were no good. And uh, <laughs> this lawnmower right here, <laughs> this is interesting. This lawnmower right here, I, I, I bought this lawnmower 16 years ago, brand new from Walmart in Nanaimo, British Columbia. And you know what? I can't tell you. I can't tell you um, that I have a receipt for it because I don't keep receipts. And why should I? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, you know? And for 16 years, I wouldn't do it anyways. Anyways, the insurance company is uh, giving me a lot of static. And they want me to give them receipts for everything that I have lost. I lost the shed. Basically lost that wagon. It's disgusting. It's all gross. Everything here. This saw is a 10-inch radio alarm saw. Um, I got this scooter. And uh, then there's this one. The other part of it is... I've, I have, I've got three scooters total that I know that were... Um, functional and they definitely aren't now but in order for me to get paid out any type of insurance on them I have to prove according to the insurance company DeJarge and Enns or whatever they are um, I have to prove to them that I own them <laughs> if they're in my yard and they're in my shed I own them and they said, that's not good enough. You have to provide receipts. Well, why, why do I have to bother even having insurance, right? In here, in my, this is another shed. This, lucky this one didn't go on fire because it could have been a real mess. That's my, that's my uh, snowblower. That's another lawnmower I have. That's another saw that I have. Now, I don't have receipts for any of this stuff that's in my shed, you know. I don't have receipts for any of it. I bought it, and it's mine, and that's all they need to know. I didn't steal it from anywhere, and um, you know, basically that's it. That's what's happening. And uh, I have more. I have two more scooters inside my house as well. And it doesn't matter. <laughs> why I have them is nobody's business. And um, I'm left with a real mess to clean up here. And. Uh, not only that, I'm dealing with the stress from an insurance company that I thought I paid the money to 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 um to secure my uh, my belongings, and uh, apparently not. So I don't know what's going to happen from here, but uh, not impressed. You know, I've got uh, I've got the three cats that are inside the house. I yeah. Uh, I used to let them go out in that other area. Now I can't, I have to keep them in here. Because uh, I don't want them going out there and getting hurt. So, anyways, see it's, it's very clean in here and very well kept. But who would have thought that uh, that I, this would have happened, you know? The, um, the investigator from the Calgary Fire Department came out and it was on the 22nd, just after the fire was put out. And he determined that the fire started next door in a compost pile. And that's what he told me. So that's what I believe. <laughs> so, anyways, that's my video for today. And I'm going to share it. And uh, it's really cold for me out out today. So, anyways, I'm Busker James. Thank you for watching my channel. And please comment below if uh, if you want to say anything about insurance companies and what I need to be cautious of in the future. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching my channel. Have a good night. Bye-bye.